Hey guys, today we are going to talk about what has happened with the legacy prices. Now, around Eldrick Moon, there was a lot of buyouts. As you can see, this card in particular was bought out and its price was $1,574 at its peak, which is a lot more than it used to be at its low in 2012, which was slightly under $300. What happened was, after the buyout, the buyout didn't really stick, so it fell down considerably. Uh, now it is currently at $1,364, which is still very expensive, but it has been going up lately. So what the actual price is, is probably more along the lines of a $1,400 card, but it's definitely not a $1,500 or $1,600 card. So when a buyout happens, the price goes way above uh, what it actually is, um, in this case, a few hundred dollars, and then it stabilizes later. But it does not stabilize at the original price point. As you can see, during Shadows of Innistrad, the card was well below $1,000. And from, let's say, Battle for Zen card, it was a $700 card. So although the card is no longer a $700 card, it's also not a $1,500 or $1,600 card. A lot of this for older cards depends on uh, limit. It's kind of a collectible item, not really meant to be played at this point. A lot of people grade these cards, and once they are graded, they are not being played. So definitely an interesting graph to look at, and this is true for most of the legacy spikes where we see a price kind of in the middle from the 700 to the 1600 it's a little bit above the middle and you still can get a copy which is slight play for 1100 right now definitely an interesting trend and something that i don't involve myself with is these older cards i'm mainly concerned about counterfeits and they are getting better. I don't make any. I don't make videos about them because it's construed very negatively. But I can tell you um, that there are a lot more counterfeits today of this particular card, and they are very realistic. Anyway, leave me a comment below. Bye, guys.